Hi, welcome to a new video. Today I want to put an ESP32 into a scale. You might ask yourself why do I do it? Recently I switched internet providers and I made the mistake to switch to Pure. That's why I have no internet anymore. And it seems like the problem will stay for a while, but I still want to have a smart scale. The thing is, then if you have a smart scale, it's not connected to the internet, you cannot import your data. You need another app and it's always going over a Chinese server if it's a cheap scale. So my idea was to use a cheap scale from Amazon. So I bought this one, it's like 10 euros, something like that. And uh, the idea is to remove the bottom part, replace everything, put an ESP32 in it, a little display, and then it is connected to the local Wi-Fi or the local network. And I can import the data into my Apple health system with a shortcut. Let me show you what the whole idea is. The whole idea is that I have a scale, um, a scale that is connected with an, with an ESP. The ESP has a little display where it shows the current weight in kilogram or whatever scale you want. Then uh, I have my Wi-Fi. Even if the internet is not working, the Wi-Fi network is working. So I get an IP. Then I have an NFC tag that I will use as start for the iPhone. So I have my iPhone, scan the NFC tag with my iPhone. It starts a shortcut. The shortcut is basically doing a get request to the ESP on the port 80. And the ESP is then answering with the weight. And this then can be imported into health. So the weight is then in my iPhone health app. So this is the whole idea that I want to build. Um, it hopefully is not too complicated. Yeah, so I would say let's get started. Grab yourself a Mate and uh, let's, let's see fa how far I got. And yeah, I hopefully at the end of the video you will see me standing on the scale, seeing the weight and it is successfully imported into the Apple Health. Let's see how far we get. So here we are one day later. It took me way more time than planned. Uh, the microcontroller that I initially planned to use with the battery connector uh, somehow was fried. So I need to wait for a new microcontroller from AliExpress. Um, that's why I had to switch over to an old microcontroller. Also, I figured out that I cannot put code from my MacBook to the microcontroller. Some, some things are happening there that I cannot explain. I installed all the drivers and everything, but if anyone has an idea why this could fail, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I also fried two other microcontrollers. In the end, it worked out with the third one. And as you can see, I can scan the NFC tag, get the response from the server with this shortcut action and it will save this into my Apple Health. So everything that I planned I could achieve. That was a quite success. I'm quite happy with that. I still have no Wi-Fi but until that is resolved I can use this scale. Also I really appreciate to have it locally in my uh, local network. I will maybe play around a bit with the accuracy. Currently it is quite accurate. I uh, have a bit of variation if I move in it uh, on it, but yeah, that's how it is. So maybe I have to create like a moving window to have the last 10 readings as the server response instead of uh, the current response. Nothing else to say. I am happy that it works now and that I can move on. If you are interested in the source code or if you're interested in how to program an ESP or anything else, let me know down in the comments. What did I learn today? The color coding on a weight scale is not accurate and not standardized. They are, it said it is, but it is not apparently. And uh, this cost me half a day because I wired everything, tried multiple times and it didn't work. In the end, I just measured through as someone suggested in some forum and it worked like a charm. So the wirings were right, but apparently the color coding of my cells weren't. That's why measure your cells before you solder everything together. 
I wish you a great weekend. Happy coding, happy week, wherever you, whenever you watch this. Have a great day. Enjoy coding and see you next time.